Well, we're going to attempt to make two different types of cookies. And I'm going to tell you in advance that the one cookie did not turn out. I told you I was going to make a cookie that wasn't really a cookie. And uh, that cookie was going to be a pizza cookie that I was going to make with pizza dough. But I should start off by telling you this is a monthly uh, December Vlogmas collab that um, Edie, Kim, and Joan and I do every year. I think we've done it for like three or four years. It's just the four ladies, just the four of us. And uh, we do it every year. And every year I say I'm going to do better the following year. <laughs> and I don't because I am not crafty and I am not a baker. But I did attempt to make the uh, pizza cookies. So I will include that in the into the video so you can get a good laugh. You'll laugh with me. You're not laughing at me. You're laughing with me. And uh, even my snowman, look at him over there. He's saying, why am I not in the shot? <laughs> anyway, um, so um, I will show you how to make them, how to mess up with them, the whole bit. And uh, check out the description box down below because I'll have link links to their channels. And so in the meantime, let's get this show on the road. We can't get this disaster started any sooner than this. So I will talk to you at the end of the video. Okay, the ingredients you're going to need for the pizza cookies are some mozzarella cheese, a pie pizza crust, obviously, uh, some sauce, and your pepperoni, and your cookie cutters, and a little rolling pin to roll the dough out. So let me turn you around and we will get started. Oh, and a pan, obviously, to cook it in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get our dough out. and roll it out, should be easy enough. Take the paper off, I probably should have put some flour down. Let me put a little bit of flour down here. I'll be right back. Okay, this might make it a little easier. With the flour. And we're just gonna, I know, Sandy struggles all the time. Spread the dough out a little bit. Just take our, just to stretch it out a little bit. And fold it where it's all folded in here. It's a little bit too thick. Oh, do 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 do. There we go. There, that makes it a little. You almost, you almost want a toppling into the sink there. Okay, the next step we're going to do is put our pizza sauce on. And I forgot to tell you to use a pastry brush just to spread it around. You heat, preheat your oven to 425. And I'm not really sure. I'll have to let you know when we're done how much, uh, how long I cooked it because obviously it says to cook 20 minutes, but that's for a whole pizza. So I'm thinking that since it's just pieces, it probably won't take as much. I do like sauce, so pay no mind to how much sauce I have on it because I am a saucy person. That, that's enough. That's enough, Sandy. That's enough. So after we spread that out as best we can, go. We are going to add our cheese. I have never done this. I just saw this and thought I'd try it, but you know how I am with trying things. Can't hurt to try something. Do that. Then we're going to take our pizza cutter. They're not a pizza cutter. Our 
cookie cutter and then put a piece of pepperoni in the center and then I want to have a stocking and a little gingerbread man and you gotta have Santa Claus so a little piece of pepperoni in there You get two. Now the trick. Can I take them out? Eh, it's not working. I thought it would work, but let me get a knife. As you can see, this is the reason why I don't make cookies. And I don't think it's going to turn out, but we will try. This is not working. Okay, that's a bust. Nope, not going to work. Not going to work. <laughs> well, you know, I tried. You give me an A for effort. Ooh, maybe this one will turn out. Ta-da! <laughs> we got one that works. Let's see. Nope, the only ones that are going to work are the, this, what do you call it? The little. That's it. That's a bust. So let's just make pizza. Well, as you saw, the pizza cookies were a flop. Almost as bad as my appetizer video last week. They were not good at all. But anyway, now we are going to move on to the puff pastry, which is... Looks very easy, but we'll see how that works. So let me turn you around, show the ingredients, and we'll start the next disaster now. Well, Jim always says he likes his things a little burnt. There is the Christmas stocking, and there is Santa Claus. But we actually got a pizza out of the whole thing, so we got something we can eat for lunch. Okay, these are the ingredients we're gonna need for the raspberry puff pastry cookies. Uh, for the topping, we're going to use some a little bit of jelly, a tablespoon of um, unsweet salted butter, some whipping cream, and vanilla extract, and some powdered sugar. But for the actual recipe for the cookie, all we need is the puff pastry, and they said to use strawberry jam. I only have preserves. You want to make sure you can use any kind of jelly you want, but make sure there's no seeds in it. So. I know there's seeds and preserves, but I'm, I'm making do with what I have. And then a little bit of sugar just to sprinkle on to make it easier to roll. So let me move some stuff around and we will get started. <clears throat> okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to just sprinkle some sugar on the cutting board to make it easier to spread out. <sighs> the 
over to the side. Then we are going to cut a puff pastry. <clears throat> Hopefully this works better than last time I used puff pastry, but we will see. So far so good. So we're going to put it on here. We're going to roll this a little bit. Spread it out. My jelly. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar on this side. And then just roll to flip it over. And roll out the other side. Well, that's the best we're going to do. So then we're going to put this aside. We're going to put our third of a cup of jelly in the center and spread it around. be awful thin looking jelly let me tell you once again never made this before I'm just going by what they say on the recipe okay I know it says for a third of a cup I'm adding a little bit extra jelly I'm sorry I'm doing something wrong but we're gonna make do with what we're doing here. So, the next step <laughs> is to cut it into strips. So you're going to take your piece of cutter. I'm going to actually just get rid of this little bit of dough. And they're just going to cut them in like one inch strips. And you're going to roll the one in to the center. And then you're going to roll the other end into the center. And then you're going to pinch them so that they have like a heart shape. And you're going to put them on the cookie sheet like that. Or yeah, you want to put some parchment paper or something on it. Actually, I'm very happy with that. I can't believe I did it. Let's see if we can do another one. Well, that was going to be a little wide. A little wide berth there. Let me see if I can do it again. And then you pick the other end here. Pinch them together. And it looks up. And put it on the sheet, about two inches apart. So let me finish these up and then I'll be back. Okay, they're not the prettiest looking cookie, but it's a cookie. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. We're going to put a rack over the top of them to keep them from rising too much. And we're going to bake it in a 425 degree oven for 13 minutes. Okay, we're going to start with making the spritz that we're going to put over the top of the cookie. So we are going to use one tablespoon of the unsalted butter and one and a half tablespoons of the jelly. So we're going to put 
that in there. We're going to microwave it for one minute, but after 30 seconds, we're going to give it a stir. Okay, now we're going to add the sugar. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Oop, a little bit more than that. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. One minute, I gotta check my cookies. Well, I have to tell you that I think my cookies turned out. I'm shocked. But anyway, we're gonna stir this together. And then we're gonna add, make sure I'm doing this right, stir in the jam. You're gonna have extra of this, they said, so you can save the extra to sprinkle on something else. So, get this mixed together. And then we're gonna add one or two tablespoons of, one to two tablespoons of milk. So, let's add the milk. And they say if it's not, if it's too thick or too thick, if it's too thick to add more uh, milk. But you're just making like a little bit of a sauce that you're going to put over the top of the cookie. I don't think I want to add more milk. I think I just got to work it in. Yeah, I think that's more than enough. And you want to let your cookies cool just a little bit before you put the topping on, they said. Here we go with the sugar. All right. Um, let me move some stuff around and I'll bring you back and I'll show you how I drizzle on the cookie. Okay, there is my finished product. And then what you just do is you just drizzle a little bit of frosting on the top. And there are my puff pastry strawberry cookies. When they cool down a little bit, I'll have Jim taste one and I'll let you know how we like them. But so far, I think they look pretty successful. There you go. Well, I can't believe that those cookies turned out. They were delicious. Jim even liked them. I took a little tiny, that little tiny small one. I ate that one. It was very good. Uh, you can keep them in a storage container, airtight storage container for three or four days for them to stay fresh. But they say it's better to eat them the first day or two because then they won't lose, they won't get so crunchy. But once again, I'd like to thank my ladies, Kim, Joan, and Edie, for including me in on this collab. I will leave the links to their cookie exchange, well, to their channels, and you can go over and find their cookie exchange. We've also done um, a tour of our house. We've done two uh, soups coming up next week. On Thursday, we did a quick, easy meal. Uh, we did a decoration. So there's a lot of them. Just go check them out. But once again, I hope you like watching me. <laughs> I have come to the conclusion that I am not crafty and I am not a baker. I am an excellent cook, but crafting and baking are not in my forte. <laughs> that just isn't up my alley. But I, I attempted it, I did it, and I mastered the puff pastry. Because if you saw my appetizer video last week, you saw that the puff pastry got the better of me. But in the meantime, hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you on my daily vlog. If not, let's check me out on Tuesday for a Tuesday's collab of a soup, which I think I made a potato soup, which was very good, if I do say so myself. Once again, I can cook, can't bake, can't be doing anything crafty. So talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.